All right, now to the latest on the coronavirus. A big announcement coming from the governor outlining what reopening plans would look like for the state. He said we must first meet six key indicators. There's no light switch here. I would argue it's more like a dimmer. And that dimmer is about, about what I was talking about, this toggling back and forth between more restrictive and less restrictive measures. Overall, he said it will be a slow process starting with the next two weeks. A timeline of what reopening will look like won't be released until after that. So this all trickles down to hitting this peak here. Health experts are warning uh, of, you know, these numbers only growing. So why don't we take a look at the latest numbers here globally? We're at nearly 2 million total confirmed cases with 128,000 total deaths and the recovered total at a half million. So there's some promising news there. Here in our country, 609,000 confirmed cases now. 50,000 people have recovered at this point. Sadly, we have seen over 26,000 deaths in the U.S. now. And here in San Diego County, the county also announced six new deaths. That brings our total here to 53, with a total of 1,930 confirmed cases. Officials continue to stress, though, that number of actual infections is likely far higher and will continue to rise as testing becomes more available. So just keep doing that social distancing, folks. So far, just over 27,000 San Diegans have been tested. County officials reiterate that mass gatherings, such as sporting events, concerts, they will likely be canceled through the summer. One big set cancellation right here in San Diego County. Sadly, yes, the state, the fair, the board of the Del Mar Fair voted to officially cancel this year's county fair because of the pandemic, which means the fair will return in 2021. The board made its decision unanimously after determining that there was just no way to hold the fair as planned given bans on mass gatherings across the state continue. Additional to the summer events, county officials discussed the governor mentioned in his announcement that eating out also won't be the same when the reopening plan begins. He explained a little piece of what it may look like. You may be having dinner uh, with a waiter wearing gloves, maybe a face mask, uh, dinner where the menu is disposable, uh, where the tables, half of the tables in that restaurant uh, no longer appear, where your temperature is checked before you walk in to the establishment. Oh, let's get to, uh... yep. Boy, that's really going to change the uh, whole dining out experience, isn't it? One local Chinese restaurant in Kearney Mesa might have given us an earlier clue. Jasmine started COVID-19 protocols months before California's shutdown order. They began with hand sanitizing stations on the walls, then required servers to wear face masks and gloves. It's a look all California restaurants will need to adopt when they reopen in this new normal. As local school districts continue to adjust to distance learning, the San Diego Unified Board of Education approved a new grade protection policy. The grade policy ensures students will not receive grades lower than their grades prior to school closures. The board also passed a resolution calling on state and federal lawmakers to pass $200 billion in emergency funding to help schools. Later this hour, District Superintendent Cindy Martin will join us live to break it all down. And an update this morning, four sailors from the San Diego-based USS Theodore Roosevelt are in the hospital battling COVID-19. There are nearly 600 confirmed cases on the carrier currently docked in Guam. One sa sailor has died. The ship's outbreak drew national attention when former Captain Brett Crozier was fired after asking for help. The acting Navy secretary resigned a week later amid controversy. Meanwhile, the Navy has removed more than 100 medical staff members from a San Diego-based hospital ship after seven of them tested positive for coronavirus. The USNS Mercy crew members were taken to a nearby base in Los Angeles and are under quarantine. Military officials say it's not clear how the sailors became infected. The Mercy was dispatched to care for patients who do not have the virus. Millions of Americans are going to see their stimulus checks drop into their bank accounts today. And if you're wondering if you'll be one of them, there's a tool you can use on the IRS website to find out. News 8's Chris Grow is live in Kearney Mesa now to show us more on this, how we can use this and when we can expect a check. A lot of people waiting on this money here, Chris. 
Yeah, in fact, the Secretary of Treasury said that 80 million people should expect to see that money drop into their account by today. But as you might imagine, there are a lot of people wondering if they're going to be one of those 80 million people because a lot of people need this money and they need it now. So the IRS has finally launched the payment tracker on their website, irs.gov. It's called Get My Payment, and you can access it on the Economic Impact Payment section. Now, what this does is it allows you to enter your personal information followed by your recent tax filing info to access the status of your payment. So for instance, if you're someone that filed your taxes the last two years but paid the IRS, you'll then likely need to enter your bank account info to get a direct deposit. After you enter that tax info, it will ask you for that. However, if you prefer to get it by mail, you can choose to do that on the website and then track the payment and when to expect it. Now, as a reminder, if you made less than $75,000 as an individual, you can expect a $1,200 payment. If you made less than $150,000 as a married couple, you can get a $2,400 payment. Plus, there's an additional $500 for each child you claim. So it's important. Get on this website. Click on Get My Payment. Check to see if they have your direct deposit info. Decide if you want them to have it or if you wanted to get it by mail. Secretary of State excuse me, Secretary of Treasury Steve Mnuchin says they do want to do as many direct deposits as they can, so he does insist that the website is the way to go. Have that information available. You'll be able to ID yourself. You'll be able to put in your direct deposit information, and within several days, we will automatically deposit the money into your account. And now, if you do decide to get it via mail, there have been reports that the checks could not or will not arrive until midsummer. So again, it is likely that you'll get it much quicker if you go with the direct deposit route. You can go on our website, cbs.com, cbs8.com, click on the hot button, and it will directly link you to the IRS's website. Back to you. All right, Chris, thanks for that. Actress Rita Wilson is opening up about her and her husband, Tom Hanks, experience with coronavirus. I was very tired. I felt extremely achy, um, uncomfortable, didn't want to be touched. And then the fever started. Chills like I've never had before. She also lost her sense of taste and smell and was given chloroquine, but said it came with serious side effects. Rita and Tom have since taken part in a study where they've donated blood. Both are waiting to hear back if their antibodies will be helpful in developing a vaccine.